The president said the past five years have seen moments of triumph and tragedy. Five years into this battle, there's an understandable debate over whether the war was worth fighting, whether the fight is worth winning, and whether we can win it. The answers are clear to me. Removing Saddam Hussein from power was the right decision. And this is a fight America can and must win. He spoke of the thousands of Americans and Iraqis who have lost their lives in the war. But he said freedom is taking hold in Iraq. It been, dude's a whack job. Nah, man. He's got perspective, you know? He's deep. Everything is a conspiracy to him. Mad cow to kill the vegetarians, Federal Reserve to steal for the rich, Nazis in the military. Come on, dude's crazy. And man, listen, you got it all wrong, okay? He's on point about a lot of things. Yeah, man, but come on, you gotta admit, he's a little bit weird, don't you think? Come on, man, this is what these cyber freaks do. They stir shit up, all right? They agitate to educate. You gotta give the dude props for doing something to change the world. Change the world. Check this out. Probably all created already. <laughs> come on, the man. New world order. Pretty much the people, shadow government, <laughs> uh, international bankers, However you want to look at it, they pretty much infiltrated every part of our government and yo, yo, yo. have full control of hey. what's going on. Oh guys. Hey, what's up, man?
Hello guys, just got back from an anti-war rally and I got some questions to ask. Like, why are we in this war after six years with our economy so much in the dumps? Or, why are soldiers coming back after fighting for our country and having trouble finding a job? Do you really think that these soldiers who are coming back think they're heroes? After a war, a hero is just a man who comes back with one leg. How you feeling, Easy? It hurts. So, um, how'd you say this happened? I, uh, I told you, I, I tripped. Um, sir, we've been complaining about those rickety old stairs since before you were here for, for many years and nobody's done anything about it. So, why the bandage? What, what do you think? I, I wrapped it before coming back here. Before or after the accident? What are you trying to say, that I didn't get hurt on the job? All I know is there's a lot of people out there that scam workers' comp, okay? And it's part of my job just to make sure that that's not happening here. Is there a problem, sir? Because I can call the union rep right now if that's what you want me to do. Look, take it easy, okay? All I'm saying is, when there's an accident at the job, I need to know from your doctor before I can bring you back to work. Uh, like I said, I, I'm okay. I, I, I don't need to see a doctor. I'll be fine I in a day you. or two. It's the company's policy. If you're going to go back on the schedule, I need the note. That's all there is. Uh-huh. Just, just don't give my shift away. Say. They always say, stay off of it. The price quacks. Did she get a little break from work? You should really come over for a little chicken in a pot. Eat till you drop. Patty, this is exactly how they got rid of Phil last year. Dad, you're not Phil. It's just a sprain. Patty, you just don't understand. I've been on the job 31 years, and you know what happens to people like me. We get old, we get hurt, and we get replaced with younger and cheaper. Business as usual. Kids really want to see you. Angie's been practicing a little dance for Grandpa. Ah, think about it. Okay, I'm going. All right, let's go. News in Washington, D.C. This is a special report on today's debate in the House of Representatives on a proposed resolution on Iraq. The resolution disapproves of President Bush's decision to send more than 21, 21,500 additional How troops. How you doing, Dad? I'm Paul Brown. One nice sharp point. difference quickly emerged regarding what the hurting? war is about. Democrats said Iraq is now in a civil war from which the U.S. needs to extricate itself. Well, I'm going to go finish making dinner. Okay. President Bush says that it is part of a larger global war on terrorism. Tom Lantos is a Democrat from California and chairman of the House Foreign Affairs Committee. He's a sponsor of the resolution and favors drawing down the U.S. troop presence as soon as it's practical. We are not fighting terrorism in Iraq. We are attempting to referee religiously based civil war 
which saps our strength and destroys our fabric as a society. Peter Hoekstra is a Republican from Michigan and the ranking Republican member on the House Intelligence Committee. There is a fundamental lack of civilization that work here. There is a fundamental belief by the jihadists that Islam must expand and fill the entire world. But it's not good enough just to be against the war. You gotta rise up against the war. So I want you to put your hands together and say, rise up people against the war. Rise up people. Rise up, rise up, rise up They say it's to protect you While they try to dispossess you Of the right to decide between wrong or right To openly discuss what politicians hide They want to keep their secret plans from the public eye We gotta keep our fires burning, keep our spirits bright We gotta rise up, rise up, rise up Against the war, rise up people against the war, rise up people against the war, rise up people. Money got no children, and bombs ain't for building, and killing ain't no way to make a peaceful day, as all of God's children can easily hey, We gotta keep our fires burning, keep our spirits bright. Stand up and speak for what we know is right. We gotta rise up, rise up, rise up. figure out that freedom ain't free. Somebody's got to fight for it. Look at them. I don't mind them protesting. Oh, when I was their age, I was out in the jungle fighting for their father's right to, to say anything. You ever see any one of those punk kids come up to a vet and say, Thank you. Boy, for keeping me free. Thank you for, for fighting for me. I am a United States veteran and you respect me. So, protest all you want. But I'll tell you one thing. Just keep it out of my face. But it happened, I mean, were you not thinking about that? I don't even remember most of it. Hold on. I was on drugs. I Hold on. Mark. Hold on. Mark. Hold on. What does it mean to be patriotic? I think being patriotic is not following blindly and asking questions. Others think it's following blindly, killing and well, torturing innocent people. My neighbor thinks that when your country asks for something, you do it. What do you think? Get us into this war. What? What are you talking about? 
you talking about? Well, your sign. Um, I, I support the troops. I'm all for the troops. But this war is based off lies, and well, well sir, that's not right. War? Kid, what do you know about war? You ever fight for anything? No, I didn't think so. Well, I do know that Bush said Iraq had weapons of mass destruction, and they didn't. Sir, Bush has created a war that is killing people. And Bush says he's making heroes. Uh-huh. I don't have time for this. Well, I just thought that, you know, if you're going to put information out there that you want to write and you don't want to look ignorant. Did you just call me ignorant? Are you calling me ignorant? Is that what you're saying? You're saying that I'm an ignorant person? Well, technically, sir, ignorance, the definition is the lack of knowledge or information. Information? The only information you need, young man, is to know that brave soldiers are dying over there. I'm coming back in wooden boxes over here so that ignorant people like you can complain about how bad things are. So do us both a favor, you go to hell. Restore the Constitution. I thought we were having fried chicken. Can you believe him? Him calling me ignorant? Don't let him get to you, Dad. I, I can't help it, Patty. He pisses me off, that, that punk-ass kid never fought for anything or anybody in his life. And that smug bastard thinks that he knows everything. What is he, like 21? He's a kid. So what? So he's a kid. So he's stupid. He's the ignorant one, not me. Something, Patricia. Me and your mother had two kids and a mortgage at his age. And nothing for me. I have 7,200, and uh, I think for January we can do a little bit better. Uh-huh. Well, yeah, I mean, January is going to be improved. Urging motions to be pulled downstairs, and camera truck goes and I roll down my pants. <laughs> you know, you were right. I've had a wonderful time with you. I told you everything was going to be all right. You were right. You have one new message and 36 old messages. Uh, easy. Yeah, I got your doctor's note. I don't think it's going to work out. Uh, we're going to have to let you go. So give me a call and we can work it out. I told you! I told you shit!
I know sometimes it seems that I think I have all the answers, but I don't. But I know that we're in a war that's not good. That it's tearing us apart. That it's killing people, body and soul. And for what? For oil? For weapons of mass destruction that never existed? Benjamin Franklin said it best. Never has there been a good war or bad peace. Let us end this war and bring back peace. I'm sharp, man. Thanks. I've been praying for you. Hey, no worries about it. Look after yourself, man. I'll try. All right, man. Take care, man. And the river shall open for the righteous. And the river shall open for the righteous. And the river shall open for the righteous someday. I was walking with my brother. And he wondered. How I am I said what I believe with my soul Ain't what I see with my eyes And there's no turning back this time I am a patriot I love my country Because my country is all I know I want to be with my family People don't understand me I got no place left to go I am a patriot I was walking with my boyfriend He looked so fine I said, baby, what's on your mind? I said, I want to run like the lions Release from the cages, release from the rages, burning in my soul tonight. I am a patriot. And I ain't no communist, and I ain't no socialist, and I ain't no capitalist, and I ain't no imperialist, and I ain't no democrat. Sure as fuck ain't no Republican either I only know one party And that is freedom I am, I am, I am I am a patriot I love my country Because my country is all I know and the river shall open for the righteous. And the river shall open for the righteous. And the river shall open for the righteous someday. 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 I was dreaming in my dreaming I was hoping in my hoping And my senses newly opened I awakened to the cry That the people and the power to redeem the work of fools as I surrender to my sleeping I commit 
never dream to you. People have the power. People have the power. People have the power. People have the power. This would be a good one if you want to sing with. I encourage you. Activists make the best singers. People have the power. 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 